It's currently 10 p.m. and we are back with another coding project video. Today we are making a one-piece theme weather widget for my desktop and I am particularly excited for this project because first it's one-piece theme obviously and second we are going to be using the weather API which is a little different from other projects that I posted in the past so I feel like this will be a lot of fun to make a long-form video where I walk you through my entire process and so let's get started. What the dog doing? What the dog? After I had all my assets ready, I went straight to Figma and prototype the entire thing. For this one, I wanted to have both day mode and night mode, so it will show a day background during the daytime and then the night background during the nighttime. So before we jump into development, I wanted to do a quick recap of what we are going to use. I will be using Electron.js, which is a framework that allows you to build desktop apps with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. I like Electron because it's easy, like if you know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, then you can just get straight to it right away. And it's very quick to build and package, however, it is heavy. Um, it's definitely not as light as some other platform specific approaches. And in my case, it's probably a little bit of an overkill because I'm doing such a simple application, um, my app is going to be heavy. But that yeah that is what i'm going to be using today but i should probably maybe explore some other approaches in the future So now that we have all the basic app functions, it's time to make this thing look like our initial design. So I am going to start with the HTML and CSS of the header. Next is the sky background, which here we have to work on both the day mode and the night mode. Hey guys, not sure in the future here. I just wanted to chime in and say that I ended up re-scraping the code for this part and we did it with mainly JavaScript instead of just doing it purely with HTML and CSS. And that's because the HTML and CSS code ended up being really long and hard to understand, but also hard to change. And also it was glitching. So 
if you are trying to replicate this then i would recommend going to javascript route which is like set of an array that has like all the file sources instead of doing what i did here which was purely like html css especially if you have like many many frames of animation like what i had here in the final product walkthrough. that's it for this project thank you so much for watching i am super grateful of all your comments in the last video i hope that this video is as fun as helpful or as entertaining as the last video and i will see you in the next video bye